All I want in this world is a chill pair of underwear. A chill pair of underwear. Hello, and thank you for joining us on Canary Sessions. My name is Hudson, and today in the studio we have the collection. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. So can you go down the line and uh, introduce yourselves for us, please? I guess front to back. I'm Josh Linhart. I play drums. I'm Sarah McCoy. I play keyboard and sing. I'm Joshua Ling. I play electric guitar, harmonium, and sing. Nice to have you back, Josh. <laughs> I'm David Wimbish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm Hayden and I play bass. <laughs> So who's the real David? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm Hayden Co- <laughs> Wimbish. I'm David Wimbish, and I play my voice. I'm Graham Dickey, and I play trombone and trumpet uh, and glockenspiel, kind of. I'm Darren Miles. I play acoustic guitar, and I yell occasionally. <laughs> the designated yeller. The designated off, off old mic yeller. Old, old yeller. Very hard. Old, old, old off yeller. mic yeller. <laughs> <laughs> All the other bands. So how did how did this come to be? How did how did you start this? Um, like the band? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, like, how did, y'all, how did y'all? Here. I don't know. You how did you get here? here? <laughs> I mean, like, I gave you the address, but like, I want to know the specifics. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it kind of started as a solo project from a record I made a bunch of years ago, and. Um, I was lucky enough to find some people that wanted to play those songs because um, the the record had like a lot of different um, instruments on it. So people kind of did that live, and then it developed into its own thing. And probably twenty five different people later, uh, this is what we look like playing um, other songs. So yeah. How about how long have y'all have you been doing the collection, as far as like? Um, so the kind of initial start was like, really like eight years ago, which mm-hmm. is a long time. But I we started kind of touring more seriously about four years ago, and this kind of group of the band has really been like the last year over overall. That's awesome. So talk to me about tour life. How's that been for y'all? Somebody else want to answer that one? <laughs> Great. No comment. <laughs> I'll answer. Okay. As a more recent member of the band, uh, I don't have as many tours to compare my two tours with, but our first one um, was very adventurous, is a good word for it, I think. Um, we had a lot, a lot of band, uh, band troubles, not band troubles. Um, well, my extension. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... A lot of those van troubles led to really cool adventures where we got to meet great people or um, just see the love that people gave us, stay in cool people's houses. So it was a pretty great experience, actually. Um, our second tour that I was on, um, we were in, went around the nation a lot, and it was very fun just to see everything with this great group of people. That's all I have to say about it. I mean, what ha- what happened to your van? Uh, everything. It died. It died. A bunch of times. All of <laughs> Multiple vans and trailers. Multiple Multiple vans and trailers trailers died. (laughs) Um, Within the period of like three days, six break, wait, four four to six breakdowns within like three days between two vehicles that ended up with us renting a van and a trailer. Like one with like within hours of each other. (laughs) Uh, In a blizzard. In a blizzard. It was crazy. The first one, our brakes caught on fire. Oh my God. It wasn't like... Oh, that's it, day one. Yeah, that was day, that was one. day one. We were we that's were not a great start. <laughs> Winston or like somewhere to Baltimore. We got almost to Baltimore, and it's not like our brakes like well, our brakes did stop working and they locked up. But like, I don't know. It just like it really Probably helps like with telling the story later to be like, hey, sorry we're late. Our car was on fire, <laughs> <laughs> but it was fine from there. You and came, you came in, in, a, in a blaze of glory, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yes. And we had brought this water, thanks to Hayden, called Life Water, mm. which we had just released a single called Beautiful Life, so it was just a joke about the beautiful life water. Mm. And then on the first day, the brakes caught on fire, and we're like, what do we do? And Joshua runs out with beautiful life water, just starts dousing the fire <laughs> with, the, with the beautiful life water. So. Um, um, I'd just like to make a quick plug uh, for those of you in the triad area. On North Main and High Point, there's a place called Robert Payne's, and it's a discount grocery <laughs> store. It's where I bought like five cases of that vitamin water <laughs> before tour. How much? Well, to be fair, we didn't want it by the end. <laughs> but how much did it cost you? I was like $1.50 per case. Case. So oh my if, God. You, if you're okay with like, you know, checking your out-of-date food before you eat it, you could get it for as low as $0.10 cent a at, you know, unit. And if it's so. out of date, it's a great fire extinguisher. That's true. Exactly. That's true. If it's wet, fire no like yuck. <laughs> I wish someone had thought the mic when I said that. <laughs> hey then, are you like a are you like a cheap grocery store like connoisseur? You seem like you know the you know the spots. 
Just yeah. the one. Just the one. Frankly. <laughs> it's um, it's where I get a lot of good cereal and soy land. <laughs> 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 sounds as appetizing as it is. <laughs> Not separate from that sentence. Oh my god. <laughs> A cereal yeah. Oh my god. Curls fingers from your strings, trying to make the guitar sing, and once again release the joy it brings. But even with the old notes played, Strings are rusted and slightly frayed, so I can't get it sounding quite the same. When you get caught in what they want, it's hard to remember who you are. A white old heart kept in. Tired hand is fumbling for the door. <laughs> Cut the branches dry from rain, but you brought matches and propane now. Why so sad on me and write all your words, praise for the fight, there's so many ways to see the light. When you get caught in what they want, it's hard to remember who you are. have like a, a favorite song um like out of all of the out of all the Even though we just uh, talked about this today for the first Brian time Brian. ever no. <laughs> i don't know do, we, do, do we wanna to play to play or to listen to was something that we you know what Let, uh, both yeah well we'll do your favorite play and your favorite uh favorite one you like to listen to dang um i'll start because i have the mic uh there's a song called alchemy of awe on uh, the Listen to the River record, and that's probably my favorite um, to listen to. I also really love to play that song. Um, and my favorite to play is probably, I don't know, it's probably Art of Dying or Siddhartha. I think between the two of those, I really love both of those songs to play. 
My favorite to play is <laughs> uh, the middle one and um, Siddhartha, probably. And to listen to Becoming My Own Home. Uh, I think my favorite to play is Becoming My Own Home. I love playing that song. It's very fun. Uh, favorite to listen to is probably Beautiful Life. I really like it. It's a great song. Ooh. I guess maybe for everybody reserving the right to be here now, then I become new people tomorrow <laughs> and change our minds. I think Becoming My Own Home might be my favorite to play right now. And my favorite to listen to might be... <laughs> it might be Becoming My Own Home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Siddhartha for both, for me, I think, for playing and listening. Um... My favorite, I have to like echo the Becoming My Own Home thing as far as at least playing. It's just so fun to play. Um, listening to is like a little bit harder, but um, maybe that's just because I find it hard to go back and listen to any of our songs just because I also wrote them and I've spent probably the most time with them. Uh, Do you have a, but as far as the one I'm like proudest of maybe currently is probably um, Wedding Party. Yeah, Wedding Party. Do you have the like weird thing where you like you have a hard time listening to yourself? Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's like hard in terms of like I don't like feel like down on myself or it doesn't feel like embarrassing. Like I feel pretty um, like I try to write songs I would want to listen to and and like try to push my voice to places I would want to hear. So mm -hmm. um, that feels okay. But it's just like by the time you've like written a song, it's like been like. Or but by the time you've put out a song, it's just been like years of like first coming up with the ideas and then playing it and then playing it all together and then like recording it and then listening to the mixes and then listening to the masters and then having like three months of like PR and then getting it online and then it's like by the time it's out, you're just like, this has been two and a half years of this song and I'm just like so over it. I could stand and never listen to it again in my life. Mm -hmm. So that's like more of it, I think. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think my favorite to play has been Becoming my own home, also <laughs> nice. lately, uh, and I've been listening to Alchemy of All a lot. Okay, so I think that's my favorite to listen to right now. Cool. What do you think the the weirdest or worst show y'all have ever played is? Uh, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I also I know. know actually, um, I think I can say this is the weirdest or worst, uh, based on the fact that partway through the show, we were all kind of standing outside and we were like talking about how it might have, like, a lot of bands might have been added onto it. And we were like, we've still got, like, probably three more hours until this is over, and we can collect our probably $15. <laughs> we could stay and do that, but we could just go. <laughs> <laughs> we could just leave and go to the place where we're staying and go to bed. And I still was thinking about the other day, I was like, I don't know if that was the most responsible. Like, maybe we could have gone in and say, like, Hey, give, you know, give whatever. But we were so tired. It had been a long day. It was one of those shows where you're like, you know, even like our friends, like our friends, like fans and people who would come out to see us were like, so you, you guys like this? Like you like this place? Do you come here often? It was that kind of thing where I was like, oh no, now I feel bad that we brought our friends here. And uh, I hesitate to say more. I, I wouldn't say we're Slander? Yeah. Okay. It exists. I'll, I'll talk about a place, though. Great. One time, a long, long, long time ago, we played a show in Houston at a place called <laughs> Super Happy Funland, <laughs> which should have tipped us off by the name as to what it was, but it didn't because we were novices. It was one of our first tours. And it was basically this giant warehouse. We had never played in Houston. It was this giant warehouse. And... um we walked in, and, like, the lights were really dim, but the first thing we saw was, like, a giant pile all the way up to the ceiling of dolls with, like, their, like, eyes like plucked out. I mean, like, f like this kind of crazy thing. And then there was, like, a um, theater with all these empty, disgusting-looking seats, and, like, the whole wall was painted with, like, a cartoon of a guy eating his own leg. 
And so <laughs> then <laughs> then we like walk. It was we, spooky. Yeah. And then so we walk around and then like you see the like shadow on the wall of somebody like lurking. And finally he came up and I was like, hey, man. He's like, wait, what? And was like, um, we're playing a show here tonight. And he was like, um, okay, let me, I'm going to call the sound guy and we'll figure that out. And I'm like, okay. So then he like walks over to the bench. So they like didn't know you were coming. Yeah, so then he walks over to the bench and he pulls out his phone and he goes. And then he just sits it down and gets up and does something else. And I was like, oh, this guy is like blazed out of his mind with something. And so anyway, then somebody else, so finally the sound guy came. Ten people showed up to the show including the opener, whose name was, whose band name was... Don't do it. Why, I can't say it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she's ever going to see it. (laughs) Okay, also, if she did see it, I would say this straight to her face, that it's funny that her band name was (laughs) Poopy Lung Stuffing. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) that's such a bad name. Anyway, it was not our favorite show we've ever played. (laughs) I feel nothing. (laughs) So... Oh my gosh. I wasn't there for that part. Oh, okay. I missed out. I think only me and Hayden are the only two in yeah, this room that were there for that. One time. <laughs> I painted you on my doorpost when the angel of death passed by. Your precious heart is like an orchard that grows within. So, what would you say each of your favorite movie is? Grand Budapest Hotel. Anything Wes Anderson and um, everything to do with Lord of the Rings. Did you see? Uh, did you see Isle of Dogs? Yeah. Oh, it's so, so good. good. Oh, love that movie. Very good. I love dogs. <laughs> Gonna have to go with poopy long stuff. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
Uh, I just saw a Marvel movie, so I'm I'm gonna pick a a superhero movie. Uh, Captain America: Winter Soldier is like one of my favorite um, of the genre. That's hot. So that that'll be my pick for now. Cool. Uh, mine is probably Birdman. Yeah, slash anything that Emmanuel Lebeski has the cinematographer on is probably going to be one of my favorite films ever. So, yeah. My favorite film is Kung Pao Enter the Fist. <laughs> it's All cool. right. That's a good one. I like comedies. Tim didn't change mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to name a chick flick. Uh, uh, I, I really like About Time. It's got uh, Rachel McAdams. And what's the guy's name? It's not the one with the lake house. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Wow. Nicholas no. Holt. Is that, who it is? that the one where the guy is Nicholas Holt? Is that the one with the no Dominique. It's <laughs> Dom. He's the redhead dude from Star Wars. Oh, oh and uh, Dom Holt. Yeah, that yeah. guy. That guy. Anyway, it's a great movie. I like oh, Cher. Feel, feel good at the end. I love his dad. Bill Nye. I love his dad. Bill Nye? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Spicy. Oh, science guy. Spicy. <laughs> oh, Bill Nye. Nye. <laughs> Something we're really good at. <laughs> is, uh, Just taking a bad joke way too long. We play in our songs <laughs> where we all use our mouths to play our instrument. And I didn't know if you were going to ask us to do that, but we're really good at it. Can, can you do that? <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, what? what? It sounds really fun, and we're all sitting on benches. It seems like the right time to try something for the first time. <laughs> what song would we do? Probably become our own home. No, we've already done that. It's my favorite one to play. Should we unveil the silence? No. no. <laughs> It just do just do like the like the chorus or something. It tastes like wine. What about what something. about the intro to Beautiful Life? <laughs> we could talk about. We could do. We could do. You taste like wine. Okay, is that okay? Beautiful Life. No wait, that's who. I've been searching. Nothing to make me. Okay, any of these guitars are too. Alright, alright. Okay. Wait, 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 yeah, Sarah's gotta get the organ going. I'm, I'm helping her with the organ so she can do the piano. Okay. You wanna hold this? Mm. <laughs> no lap slapping. Which words lead us home? But in the end, we'll not reveal. I guess I will rest in palms. Am I lost or found, or am I just here waiting around until someone tells me it's okay and I can move and I'll take another step? <laughs> Another thing we're really good at is taking a lot of time. Yeah. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. I loved yeah. that. That was great. Sorry, that was way too low. Also. Oh, is man. that, is that, that what you were? Is that what yeah, you that's were? that's what I was hoping for. Is that what you're asking? Have you all like, so did we answer your question? Shut up, dude! Oh my god! It's like there's a weird thing we impose on everyone. That was that was awesome. That was like that was the first acapella performance we've ever had on Canary Sessions. You save yourself a lot of lawn running if you were like that. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good idea. <laughs> Wouldn't pick a personal. That's your job. <laughs> oh man. Well, we'll let y'all get out of here. Thank you so much for for being here tonight, and uh, we love y'all's performance. We love your acapella performance too. The, <laughs> the encore, you know, at the end. It was great. Thanks for doing um, this. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having us. Really cool. It. That was awesome. 
Uh, at this time, we'd like to plug our sponsor, Heyday Guitars. Heyday Guitars is an awesome guitar shop at 414 Brookstown Avenue. Come on by, and Michael will set you up with an awesome vintage guitar or amp. Uh, if you like this, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, and look for us in the future. My name is Hudson, and this is Canary Sessions. Thank you.